some e-collar work with Miss Nora. Twice. She's on the long line. I've got her on a 50 foot here. If I can get it untangled. Give me a second. I'll untangle. Okay. I'll untangle. Right. You gonna help out, Steeler? Good job. And Miss Raven. So what we're gonna try to do is Still working her on a see it three. Care if she sits or not, I just want her to come to me and basically avoid engaging with the dogs right now. Let's go. Place. So, right now, since I've been reconditioning her to the remote collar, she was trained on it before, but she was very leery of it. So, I'm not sure why. Doesn't really matter. So what I've been basically doing is just teaching her everything again with just a leash and just relationship based. Um, that's basically how you communicate with your dogs and get good behavior out of them is a good relationship and being clear on what you want and consistent. So I did notice that she had an adversity to even the clicking sound of the remote. So for a couple days, every time we went out, I held just a random remote in my hand and just clicked away as we walked to desensitize her to that sound and show her that it didn't mean anything. She didn't have a collar on. It was just a regular leash. we go for walks. We'd sit out in the yard, sit in the house. Um, and she got to where she didn't pay attention to that. So now we want to make sure that she doesn't just do what she's supposed to do because of the collar. We want to make this a positive experience for her and she's working at a very low level of three. Um, when she gets a little more excited and that's typically if dogs are playing or there's higher energy around, it may go up a little bit. But the whole idea is to teach her how to turn that off without the remote collar. This is just going to help her family feel more comfortable and being able to communicate with her when they feel she may not listen to them in that process when they rebuild their relationship. You see, I didn't ask her to lay down because for me, when she gets comfortable enough and relaxed enough, she's going to sit or lay down just like my other two did. And that's typically what I want. If asking her to sit or lay down doesn't help her mind calm down, doesn't help her relax, and especially if it stresses her out more, there's no point for me to ask her to do that because it's not helping anything. What I want is for her to be comfortable in her environment, in the situation, whatever's going on. And that's essentially it. When dogs are comfortable, they will lay down and relax. Huh, girl? Yes, she will. Yes, you will. Oops, dealer. <laughs> Nora, come. So every time, get girl. Get a good girl. Get a good girl. Okay, free. That's dealer free too. I didn't even tell you to do anything in the first place, you silly goon. So what I'm doing is every time I give her a command right now, come. It's press the button. Place, press the button. And I'm going to practice it using without using the remote collar as well. But I also just want her to have a better relationship with the remote collar. I don't want her to see it as any kind of negative source whatsoever. Nora, come! Come on, girl! Ah, yes, it's a girl! It's a girl! Hey, come here! Kill it! Kill it! Yeah! That's a girl! Woo! <laughs> and she's free. 
so they get a moment to play. Or nibble on each other. <laughs> and this is good for her because usually when she engages with other dogs, she gets too amped up and she wants to grab and drag and just go into that prey drive. But she's really learned to tone that energy down and Mama has helped her a bunch on proper play. And so something else that I practice with her just to keep her tuned in is because she gets that higher energy, especially with her sister, is I break up their play often. So I'll just come between them and say, break. And usually if one's getting too obnoxious or their energy's getting too high, that's the one I'll face. And I'll just keep walking them backwards until they give me their attention and sit down, lay down, completely walk away. And then I'll just walk away. And if they want to go back and play, they can. But every time I interrupt that before the energy gets too much, they'll learn to control that energy. Quit eating leaves, you little cow. Nora! Just a girl. Just a good girl. Come here, Mama. Nope. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Thank you. Come here, Mama. Come on, Mama. Uh -uh, not you. Come on, girl. Nope. Nope. So this is what I wanted to challenge her with. Is that I can engage with other dogs. And if she's supposed to be doing something else, she can't engage. And I have to go back to this. I have to go back to playing with her in order for her to understand what I want. Oh, you silly girl. You silly girl. You silly girl. And as a reward for that. Good girl, Nora. Free. Come on. Free. Yay, free. Right. And yes, I did press the remote when I gave her the free command. 